you can get it into someone, even if you just throw it off of someone's back. But that time, a five-second call. And Savage hits the Savage three. off the inbound. Pretty, let it shine. You don't have to win three games in you three days. Got to win three in three days, but it's better than winning four in four <laughs> days. But really, again, it's about at some point you have to. I, I need to apologize to Carson Williams because I didn't think he had. Oh, Mason Jones. I didn't think he had that jumping ability in his bag. We're talking about him this morning. Skip pass and a three on the way. He got it. And one. Mason Jones, the foul. You see the form. Great rhythm. Awesome release. <laughs> Josh Green, leaner in the key the tournament before losing to Gonzaga in the semis. It, it's a process. I think we forget about that far too often. Josh Green to steal. Draws contact, counted. Colby Ross hits a three. Nine already for Ross. Well, in the scramble, Chase Jeter got stuck on Ross. Look out. Arizona. Nice little drive there. But I think the Pac-12 has really showed out here. Already, I'm got oh, bad news wow. for you, my friend. It, Players, he, he practiced with great pride and passion. Everybody yeah. that's been around and has said that. Here, Mississippi State trying hard to get that guy going. We also, spent a lot of time on Cape Cod coaching. This has been very effective. Boy, Reggie Perry, he can do that. Yeah, he could have been. He's part of March Madness. So every game now becomes significant. Where it goes. And a good start for Ashton Hagen. Select for juice tonight in the building between the triplets of Kentucky. Those three guards especially zeroed in on Anthony Edwards, who is in consideration for the top. He feels like they've just taken that next step. Happened in the last game, he says. I noticed we became a player-driven team. Hagen's with a floater. What a start for the Wildcats up six to nothing. What you see and what we should run. He was also extremely, extremely proud of E.J. Montgomery and how aggressive he opened this game, guys. Hagen's gets fouled. Here you Be very competitive. He's going to demand and what you get out of it. And guys that buy in progress, guys that don't work. Nice Leighton Hagen from the middle part of the floor to go one-on-one. -on -one. Spin move, and an easy to handle it particularly well. Dodson. There will be a foul going on Rodney Chapman that'll send Devon Dotson to the line. Well, immediately, Bill Self trying to isolate Devon Dotson against Rodney Chapman. And Chapman has been spectacular on the defensive end in this tournament. Defensive stance one time. And Dotson will be Toppin to start. Toppin's going to try to take him down into the low post. And Toppin is guarding Azubuki at this end. Interesting Mike Sell out on more of a perimeter guy in Marcus Garrett. And a soft touch there and the soft Maji. Wide open for a three. Long rebound to Dotson. Inside, Azubuki had Chapman on him, and you know what that means. He's saying it for three games now. Ibi Watson, I believe, is Dayton's best perimeter shooter. Dotson, and he knocks down a three to tie it up. Boy, this hand. Good pass. Cohill from the corner, and their first miss from beyond the arc. Kansas was fortunate there. They helped off ball side corner. Boy, how do you shoot? Stanley, the freshman from California, he got Ali, and young Cassius got a chance to tag along and meet the champ. That photo is easier said than done. Yeah. Wow, Carey, no, Stanley, yes. Get him out of there, you don't have a great offensive team. For year seven, by the way, his first two points of the night. Stanley buries a three. Same action, except the ball. Get your hand on top of the ball if you go over two people. I don't think Patrick Ewing's wrong about that. Oops. Juan Blair. He didn't even play in the game yesterday. No, in the first half. That was deep, boo.
Georgetown trailing by six. Duke with the ball. Moore. Stanley, that's a three. I want some nice brain. brain. She wants some nice things. Versus. I was just being a n soon as I call my mind change. Now I'm racing a demon, bed for the keys, knowing it might rain. Speed. Get I'm taking a gamble. My life is a dice game. Roll it. You better bet on me, man. I've been passing. You probably want me to crap out. Seven. I bet I jump before let's bet a hundred more. That's a wreck on the come out. I'm in the done, base shotgun. And his son is an Auburn Tiger. I can't see him saying more either. <laughs> no, he probably never has. No girly fading away. Tough shot. But we were last. We ended up going 24 and 11. But we were last in the SEC in free throw percentage at about 65%. And it cost us four or five games. You have to make free throws, most especially. I like the ball movement. You cannot go for the shot fake. And the one thing that Furman does really well is they cut away from the ball. Guys are cutting away from the ball. That's the same action that we just saw with off to get a third of your misses. That's a pretty efficient way to, to play off your glass. And Auburn has been terrific early in the year. Furman only down four. Here's Gurley. Too comfortable. Wow. Too comfortable. Mm -hmm. Eight points. Gurley's been the go-to. It's a walk. Oh, they're saying bump first on Wiley. They're saying it's off Georgetown. Four-point victory there. Some of their key players coming up big plays. Keisha. And Noah Gurley at 79%. Huge possession here for Furman to hang around. Run your offense. And then without mounts, without Gurley, that's a good drive right there. You've got to go to that guy. The best winning percentage in the entire country. The only Childs who's had... Childs got the pass from Oz. Childs spins back middle and elevates. A little too strong. Good defense. Childs shoots a three, no good. Ten. Jake Toulson, long three. Too strong. And the rebound. Childs comes up with it, and he missed the layup. Really uncanny. Finished with a career high 19 rebounds to go with 23 points. Tolson for three, and BYU's finally made one. Their first of them. Baxter's going to have to give Mark Pope some minutes off the bench. Childs makes his move and scores. Here we go. Here comes the offense, who finds Barcelo for three. That one no good. Offensive rebound, and Gilder just. Childs. Double team, didn't matter. Got some deep. Petrushev missed the layup. And I think, again, you got to give Hawes some credit for that. Listen to this place. It's the first half. Childs! Where is Cowboy had as far as we know? Nine to five. Duke leading Stephen F. Austin. A lot of dribbling for Harris, up and in. And that's the kind of basket that Harris is doing that in recent years. Stephen F. Austin, as a university, has produced an NFL MVP. Dan Bonner, you should know this, is not too far away from where you live. The Washington Redskins, Mark Mosley, place kicker, NFL MVP. Of the average is 19.4. And now Harris ahead of the pack. What do you got, young fella? Very casual as he lays it up and in over Trey Jones. And a really good decision by Trey Jones to get out of the way, not only because he's 216 pounds. Something you rarely see. Kayvon Harris just told his coach, can I come up for just a second? And he his coach's answer is no. A high percentage. Duke leads by 10. John Como looking for help finds Harris. Kevon Harris into a thicket of Blue Devil defender. Hunter, he'll try the three left of the key. Got it.